On Tuesday, the Taliban announced some of the key positions for the new government after seizing control of the country and ousting the previous regime last month. The new government announcement comes just seven days after America's last troops left Afghanistan on 31st August. Some of the known cabinet members are Mullah Mohammad Hassan Akhund has been named as the acting prime minister. Hassan Akhund is a Taliban veteran who was a close associate and political advisor to Mullah Omar, the movement's founder and first supreme leader. In the previous regime, he served as deputy foreign minister and was placed on a UN Security Council sanctions list for acts and activities associated with the Taliban. He was also the Taliban governor of Kandahar, the birthplace of the Taliban movement. According to the United Nations, he was one of the most effective Taliban commanders. Abdul Ghani Baradar, a co-founder of the Taliban, will be one deputy to Hassan. Baradar is believed to have been part of a small group of insurgents who approached interim president Hamid Karzai with a possible deal in which the militants would recognize the new administration. He was named as the head of the Taliban's political office and oversaw the signing of the troop withdrawal agreement with the US. Abdul Salam Hanafi was named as another deputy to Hassan's cabinet. Hanafi was a deputy education minister during the Taliban's last reign when they effectively barred girls from attending school. Hanafi's UN travel ban was lifted to allow him to participate in Doha talks as part of the Taliban's political negotiating team. The UN Security Council have also accused Hanafi of potential involvement in drug trafficking. Sirajuddin Haqqani, the son of the Haqqani Network's founder, has been named as the interior minister. The Haqqani Network is a US-designated terrorist organization that has been regarded as one of the most dangerous militant factions in Afghanistan. He is infamous for his use of suicide bombers and is believed to be the mastermind for some of the most high-profile terror attacks in Kabul over the years. Mullah Muhammad Yaqub, Mullah Omar's son, has been named as Defence Minister. Mullah Yaqub is the leader of the group's powerful military commission, which is in charge of overseeing the vast network of field commanders tasked with carrying out the insurgency. When announcing the cabinet, Taliban spokesman Sabihullah Mujahid stated that the appointments were for an interim government, though he did not elaborate on how long they would be serving or what would be the catalyst for a change. The appointment of new cabinet members from various elements of the hardline Islamist movement made no concessions to the earlier protests in Kabul, where hundreds of men and women were seen chanting anti-Pakistan slogans. However, the role of the Taliban chief Mullah Haibatullah Akhunzada has not been seen or heard in public for several years. According to a previous announcement from the group, Akhunzada is currently residing in Kandahar and will make a public appearance soon. The formation of the new Taliban government appears to be a setback for Qatar's plans to play a significant role in Afghanistan, at least in relation to Pakistan. The majority of the new Afghan cabinet members are from the Taliban's military wing, which is more closely aligned with Pakistan.